Hey guys, today I want to show you how to polar align your mount using the polar scope. I think this is the easiest and the fastest way of polar alignment. If you look through your um, polar scope, you will see that there is a reticle inside and on the reticle there is a circle and a cross. So the whole point of this procedure is to locate Polaris, the North Star, on a correct position of the circle in your reticle. So how do we know where Polaris should be on the circle of our reticle? For this I use applications in my smartphones in the Android phone, I use Polar Clock, application called Polar Clock. And in iPhone, I use the application which is called Polar Scope Align. The purpose of both those applications, apps, is the same. After acquiring location and time, they show where Polaris should be on the circle of the reticle. It is worth mentioning that you should properly configure these applications. I mean, you should choose the right reticle, the right type of polar scope, because there are different manufacturers of polar scopes and mounts. The polar scopes have different reticles, they have different optics, so, using apps, you have to choose the proper polar scope for your... Well, you have to choose the same type of polar scope, exactly the same uh, which you have in your mount. Another thing is that when it is dark, it's difficult to see the reticle. It's easy to see the stars through the polar scope, but it's difficult to see the reticle for this. I use for, for this mount, this is EQ32 mount, it doesn't have any internal uh, polar scope illumination, so I uh, bought a 3D printed external uh, polar scope illuminator. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but it has a small red light here, so I can turn on and off this light. <clears throat> so, if I want to polar align my uh, mount, I simply use this polar scope illuminator. I take off the cap of the polar scope. I put uh, the polar scope illuminator here, turn it on, and I can easily see the reticle. Another way of doing the polar alignment is to do this procedure after sunset, but before it gets very dark. So, simply speaking, you can polar align your mount, polar align your mount when the sky is still bright enough so you can see the reticle in your polar scope, but it is dark enough to uh, see the polaris. It's possible, I did it many times without the need of using the polar scope illuminator. And the third thing, which is also worth considering and worth saying about it, is that if your polar scope is too low for you above the ground, if you have to bend your neck to be able to see uh, what's inside the polar scope, Simply extend legs of your tripod, make everything go up above the ground. This is the easiest way of making polar scope uh, more accessible. Simply um, extend legs of your tripod so your whole setup is higher. Another way <coughs> is to use polar scope diagonal. I used one for some time. But I ceased using it, because I think the easiest way is just to put everything higher above the ground. 
it has also another advantage that if your setup is higher above the ground, there is less humidity condensing on your setup because the higher you are above the ground, the less humidity is in the air. The most humidity is close to the ground, so the higher you go above the ground, the less humidity you will get on your setup. So going up with the setup has two advantages, easier access to polar scope and less humidity condensed on your setup. Okay, so now what are the steps required for a proper polar alignment using the polar scope? The first thing is to lose your declination clutch and rotate the scope so you will not hit your camera with your head. Uh, I already removed the polar scope cap. <coughs> so after arriving at the location, I can rotate the telescope and the first step is to make sure that Polaris is visible in your polar scope. Just visible, you don't align it precisely right now, you just make sure that Polaris is visible in your polar scope. Then the second step is to level your mount. Why the first step? Because if you level your mount, but then it, turn, it will turn out that the Polaris is not visible in your uh, polar scope, then you will probably have to move your mount a little bit to the left, to the right, to find Polaris in the polar scope, so then your uh, leveling will go away. You will have to repeat the leveling. So the first step, make sure Polaris is visible in your polar scope. The second step, level your mount. Why this is important, leveling your mount? Because on the reticle of the polar scope, there is a cross and a circle. You have to locate, to put Polaris in a correct position on the circle. And for this, you have to make sure that the vertical and horizontal lines on the reticle are aligned with vertical and horizontal directions, the physical ones, I mean, the ones you have on your, on your location. So, to be sure that this alignment is correct, you need to level your mount, simply speaking. Okay, so once again, the first step, make sure Polaris is visible in your polar scope. Second step, level your mount. The third step is look through your polar scope and by rotating your azimuth and elevation axis, azimuth is left-right and elevation is, is up and down. By rotating these two axes of your head, uh, of the head of your mount, locate Polaris exactly in the center, center of the cross. When you have Polaris in the center of, in the center of the cross, move your mount's head in elevation axis so that Polaris goes up in the polar scope. It should go up. Ideally, it should go up exactly along the vertical line of the cross, but it usually drifts away to left or right. So move Polaris up somewhere near the number which is along the line. Move Polaris up and when it is up, lose the right ascension clutch and rotate the right ascension axis so that the vertical line matches the position of Polaris. So you want Polaris on the vertical line of your reticle. When you do so, lock the clutch 
and again using the elevation axis go down with polaris to the central part of the cross again to the center if polaris is traveling along the vertical line you are sure and your mount is level you are sure that your reticle is aligned with the vertical and horizontal directions in your the physical horizontal and vertical directions in your location so then when you have polaris again in the central part of the cross it's just enough using the azimuth and elevation axis to move polaris on the correct position move polaris to the correct position on the circle of the reticle and this position this position you will know because it will be shown by by your app when you do this you are correctly polar aligned so you can return your telescope to the home position you can lock and uh, you can close uh, the compartment of the polar scope and you can start your session there can be a situation when if you have polaris in the upper position and go down to the center it is possible that polaris will not go directly to the center but it will drift somewhere left or right if this happens don't worry simply use the azimuth screws to move polaris again into the central part of the cross then move the mount uh, the mount's head up again so polaris is going up again to the upper part of the reticle rotate the right ascension axis so the vertical line matches the position of polaris lock the uh, right ascension axis and go down with polaris again to the center and now it should after this correction polaris should travel along the vertical line so when you know this <laughs> and polaris is again in the center of the cross using the azimuth and the elevation screws you move polaris on the proper position on the circle of the uh, reticle of the polar scope <laughs> it's a lot of talking but actually this process is very simple so after doing doing it twice or for three times you will get how to say hang of it you, you will get hang of it it's really easy and it's much easier than it seems than it seems uh, when I do all these explanations but really in the field it takes me like 30 seconds to make polar alignment using this method so believe me it is really easy it is really easy to polar align your scope using uh, your telescope using polar scope Ooh, thank you for your attention and see you next time.